In today's video, we're opening the most obnoxious Yu-Gi-Oh product ever made. The obnoxious Celtic Guardian Den. What's up guys, we're back with another 2004 10 opening, almost 20 years old at this point. This is another Zach B special. He recently bought, I think it was a Command Knight 10. We opened it up for him, I think we got one or two foils it was two foils two supers because he said he wants to get three foils this time i was like dude that would be incredible let's see if we can do it so he decided he wanted to grab this command night 10 from rucks 34.com by the way i do have a lot of cards a lot more than usual cards on rucks 34.com i will be posting there a lot more soon i have some stuff available that you can buy and have open stuff you can buy and have sealed stuff that you can buy singles stuff like that so i have a lot more on there go check it out if you guys want to pick up anything it'll be linked in the description potentially the pinned comment as well i also have a few bonus packs for us to open up. Of course, Ghost from the Past 1. I'm running super low on these. Hopefully, there's more ghosts. But before we get into it, I have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. Paladin of White Dragon from Magician's Force. DB2, Vampire Lord, and the Legendary Fisherman from Pharaoh's Servant. Like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below. Will Zach get the three plus foils he's looking for? Or is it going to be two or less again? And don't forget to thank Zach in the comments for the epic content. We get to open some old school packs thanks to him. Let's start off with the Ghost from the Past 1 pack. Here we go. We've opened several 2004 tins recently. We've had great luck. We've had bad luck. We've had average. Kind of like with his last time, more average. Uh, we have Sunvine Healer. Let's see if we can get a Ghost Rare. Last time, I think I pulled a Ghost Rare in one of these videos. We have a Sunseed Twin. I think it was his. And then a Starry Night. It was the first pack, so we are not going to do that this time. I also threw in a couple of cards like, or packs like Metal Raiders, 25th Anniversary. I want to see if we can get that Bacanio Moth. Just to start off the luck nice and hot. Ryukishin Power. Let's see what we can get. More Infin. Anything cool out of here. Blast Juggler. He's juggling. Look at that mouth, man. He's like... Yeah, look at that. That put me side by side with what I just did. We have Rock Ogre Grotto number one. Kaminari Attack. Big Eye. The Swamp Battle Guard. He shin He Shinigan. He Shinigan. Ho Shinigan. Ho Shinigan. I always used to say Ho Shinigan. I think it's Ho Shinigan. Okay. And an Armin Lazard. Okay, all that talking for nothing. Okay. So I know the people who are uh, who send me emails saying that I talk too much on my videos are not gonna be happy about that. Sorry guys, I, I apologize. I just got a little carried away there. Hieratic Dragon King of a Tum. Time Thief Redoer. Oh, I'm doing it again. I'm talking. Danger Thunderbird. We have Metaphors and Starry Night Ceremony. Okay, let's try back to back Ghosts from the Past. Maybe that will give us some ghost luck. We got to kickstart the luck so that Zach can grab something crazy. We really want a nice obnoxious promo. Most obnoxious product ever made. I mean, it's in the name. Time Thief Flyback. We have the Vol Volcano Handmaiden. Fairy Tale Tales. Not redundant at all. We have Blast. And Thestalos, the Mega Monarch. It's not redundant. It's two different tales, okay? <sighs> Dark Magician, where are you? Where are you, Dark Magician? Please let us pull you. Okay, didn't work. No more blinking. We got to pull something crazy. I think Spell Ruler could be the one. Spell Ruler could be the pack, okay? Three from the back. It's going to have Blue Eyes Tomb Dragon. It's going to happen. We have Course of Sanctuary. Come on. Darkness approaching, but not yet. There's going to be a shining array of light when the Blue Eyes Tomb Dragon appears. We have Kododama. Peacock. Wow. Get the, get the little streaming service. Penguin Knight. Snake Fang. Twin Long Rods. Number two. A Ruxin special. Right into the hollow. I knew this was going to be it. Toon World. Super rare. You love to see it. New style card on these 25th anniversaries. Very fun. Very awesome. All right. All right. Let's keep my luck going. My luck's going to increase so that Zax can just go absolutely insane. He's going to go five for five. It'd be amazing. Sunbind Healer. Time D Flyback. Heals that root. The Shining Dragon. Cosmojo. Okay, okay. Just a Raid Raptor. Tribute Lanius. I've used those Raid Raptors before. They're pretty fun. Let's try a Ghost from the Past one again. We can do this. We have Metafalls Volflame. Hieratic Seal of Supremacy. Hieratic Dragon of Tefnuit. Hieratic Dragon Sun Overlord. Oh, Hieratic Sun Dragon Overlord of Heliopolis. There we go. And a Shooting Star Dragon TGEX. TGs! They just got some... Got some support recently. Pretty cool. All right, one more of these. We do have a King's Court pack I want to open up today. I'm pretty excited because we could get, you know, the God cards in there. You could get some nice collector rares. We get that Lightning Storm collector rare, which just got reprinted in Rarity Collection. Hieratic <laughs> Seal. We have Arc Brave Dragon. Metafalls Orichalcos. Not Orichalcos, just Orichalc. Fog Blade and... Starry Night. Oh, no. I'm not what we're looking for. King's Court, first dead. A lot of potential in these packs. I don't know the pack tricks. So I, don't, I don't think there is a pack trick on this. Pendulum transfer, which is always really nice. Pot of 
Awesome. Wind up Arsenal, Zenmayo. Turtle Bond. Infinite Cards. The Warrior Returning Alive. And Hyper Galaxy. Could be a collector. I remember pulling this one. Not a very good one, uh, and that's just a super version anyway. All right, we're doing fine, I guess. Fine is definitely the word I would use. We're doing fine. We're looking for better than fine. Gigantis, we have Gear Town. Come on. Mine Mole, the Underminer. Emergency Teleport. That's a good card. We will take that. And Time Thief Adjuster. Also a pretty decent card. I think it might have gone under a dollar, but I know e is around two to three bucks. That's pretty solid, or at least it used to be. What's up next? Mist Valley Baby Rock. We have Metaphol's Counter. Time Thief Retrograde, Sunvine Shrine, the Shrine is Sunvine, and will it be Sunvine Shrine, the Ghost Rare is mine? No, Sun Avalon, Dry Gnome. I feel like ever since people told me that Dryas was a like a $6 card, we have not pulled one out of like 30 packs. So maybe this will be where we pulled the Dryas. Last pack magic for me, and then we had to Zach's 10. We have Dark Requiem, Exceed, Dragon, Cosmo, Tin Can, R2-D2, Time Thief Hack. Hieratic Sun Dragon Overlord of Heliopolis. And finally, will this be the Dark Magician we've been searching for for very long? This is a really cool hollow pattern. And not he's not really a pattern, but just hollow. And Yeah, that's not a ghost rare. All right, it's time for the real part of the video. It's time for Zach to come in clutch. Well, I'm going to come in clutch for Zach. He already came in clutch by getting this 10. Now it's my turn. He made his move. Now we make ours. That's not a good Yami voice. Gotta work on my Yami voice for sure. Okay. Obnoxious Celtic Guardian. Here we go. We have. Okay. All right. Good packs inside. Obviously, we know these are amazing packs inside. I didn't read them this time, but really incredible pack selection in these 2004-10s. Uh, obnoxious. Let's try to be really careful getting this thing out. I think last time we chunked it by accident. They're really hard to not like pop open really quickly. Okay. Nice. That went well. All right. Now that we got that, get a sleeve before I... Slide this out. Okay, flip that over. Okay, it looks... Oh, no. Is that a scratch? You guys see that? It's not really a scratch. It's like a large scuff. Let's see the front. Front looks... Okay, really pretty card here. Obnoxious Celtic Guardian is kind of sick. It's definitely obnoxious, though. You know, you can't destroy him with a 1900-plus attack monster. So he can be difficult to out. Uh, corner there is a little ding. So this is not going to be the perfect promo. But it is really pretty. If you just look at it, I mean, that's a nice card. Really nice card, Obnoxious Celtic Guardian. Okay, five packs inside. Let's get... The, okay, come on, Frontic Guardian. You got to come out, too. All right, let's close this tin up, and let's get to opening. We have some pretty nice packs inside, including Ancient Sanctuary, Dark Crisis, Invasion of Gas, Magician's Force, and Frontic Guardian. So the normal order I do is this, because I think this is the right order for excitement. Start off with Ancient Sanctuary. Usually the least exciting, but there are some cool cards, like Enemy Controller. We've got the uh, Zaborg, the Thunder Monarch. We've got Blue Eyes... Twin Burst Dragon. No, I'm just kidding. Burst Stream of Destruction and um, Dark Magic Attack. Those are some of my favorites. Arps Lord Zerato is also in here. Back card's dinged. That card's a little dinged. Hopefully, if it's a foil, it's not dinged. Delta Attacker. We can get Nine Assailant in here as a common. It's pretty good as well. Element Statue of Disaster. Fiend Scorpion. Labyrinth of Nightmare. We will not be opening that in this video, unfortunately. It's a fun set. Backfire. Oh, no. Is this going to backfire? We really hope not for Zack. Three Hump Lakuda. That is a thirsty camel right there. Look at him. <laughs> poor guy. Get him some water. He can't even... What is he wearing? Is he wearing like a blindfold or something? Looks like the little thing you wear when you go to bed. You know, you wear them over your eyes. Looks like what he's wearing out there. That's, that's even hotter, man. Earthquake. We have a uh, Piranha Army. And finally, we have an Avatar of the Pot. One of the weirdest rares ever made. Send one Pot of Greed from your hand to the graveyard and draw three cards from your deck. Just ridiculous. First of all, unplayable with the effect because there's no Pot of Greed that in existence right now. But you could draw three. I mean, it's not really a draw three, though. You know, it's the same. I guess it's like you're adding one card, but you have to discard the pottery. It's kind of weird. Kind of weird. I don't know if that would be worth it, because then you got to play a 1,200 monster. So definitely not worth it. All right, next up, Dark Crisis. Give us the epic Exodia Necros, please. We can do this. One, two, three, four. Exodia Necros. Zolga, starting it off. Deathstroke Archfiend. Guardian Chaist. Checkmate. Dark Scorpion, Manet the Thorn. Arsenal Robber. We've got Dark Scorpion, Gorg the Strong. Fairy of the Spring. Is that, is that got two swords going on there? Interesting. And... Oh, no. Speaking of swords. 
The Wicked Blade Breaking Plan Burnt Vow. Is that the... Is she holding one of those? That looks like it. I think she's holding the Wicked... Breaking Flamborg Bow in that artwork on the left. That one's like more gold. I don't know if that's a different one, but interesting. Same sword design. All right, starting it off over two, but that's okay because these are the real big ones. Veronic Guardian, potential for some really nice comments as usual. Don Zalug is my favorite ultra, probably my favorite foil. Ring of Destruction is awesome too, but I think this would be Lava Golem. One, two, three, four. High hopes for this pack. We have Needle Ceiling. Let's go. Royal Keeper, Ruxin Special, almost. Pyramid Energy. Bottomless Shifting Sand. Watch out, the Shifting Sand not aggression area oh that is creepy like what is happening in this picture i don't even know it's like that that's like a face right there mucus yolk mucus yolk mucus sounds even weirder charm of shabdi we've got pyro clock and destiny it doesn't look like we got any good commons unfortunately let's get a don's Luke to make up for it <sighs> curse of royal so we are starting it off super slow here but okay we can't meet his three foils but if we get like, you know, BLS or something like that, that's going to make up for it. That's going to be something that we really want. So IOC, let's get something for Zach, guys. Send him some luck in the comments. We are starting it off super rough right now. We really want to get something. At least get an ultra rare would be awesome. Let's get an ultra rare. One, two, three, four. Here we go. Spatial Collapse. Ojama Yellow. Yeah, I'm sure that's what he wanted. Balloon Lazard, a burn guard. Chaos Greed. We do not have Greed here. We just want one Ultra Rare. Tower of Babel. Speaking of Greed. Giga. Gaga. Gigo. Fenrir. We have a Crimson Ninja. And we have a Lakunga. This is not going well. Final Pack Magic. All right, Zach. We need something good for him. We need something good. We can't go over. We got to get something good for him. If you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure to thank Zach for allowing this to happen and making it happen. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And if you're interested in picking anything up, check out Ruxin34.com. One, two, three, four. I'm hoping we can end this with a big foil. He said he'd be okay. Dark Paladin, Breaker the Magical Warrior. Those were, He'd be very happy with both of those. So if we could get one of those, it'd be amazing. Great Angus. Death Dendal. Jar Robber. Union Rider. Come on, let's get something crazy to end it off. Autonomous action unit. Cure you. Come on, let's get something crazy. Second goblin, we now have how many cards? Six. Okay, one more. Formation unit, our final card of the video. Zach, you went two for five last time. You're 0 for 4 right now. But I have high hopes. Dark Paladin or Breaker the Magical Warrior. Here we go. Let's end it with something amazing. Aura Paladin of White Dragon. Ultra rare. All right, that's pretty sick. Paladin of White Dragon. That is an absolutely amazing card. All right, so that, that's one of my favorite looking cards of Magician's Force. Thank goodness we got something. 0 for 5 is going to feel like a bummer. So two supers last time, one ultra this time. Honestly, I'd maybe just take the one ultra because this, I mean, this is a sick looking card. While not that playable, even back then, still very awesome. Got to get that free blue eyes out, I think is what it does. Zach, thanks again for supporting us with two awesome videos. Make sure to thank him in the comments. Shout out to Tonefo Show, Daxer, Tomato Juice, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto DN, America Doyster, Supreme Sage 21, CJ, Liu, Gwine 62, Yu-Gi-Oh! Unboxed, and Natasha. Ian Musa Jr. Barty, Robert F. Thomas McLean, and Changa Lang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.